What's up everybody? Thanks for checking out the video. These are my 20 favorite Premiere Pro shortcuts. If you get to know these shortcuts, you're gonna be able to get to know the other people in your life more because you'll have more free time to talk to people. This video is about time saving. I don't have to sell you on why shortcuts are important. You're here, you found the video. I'm gonna run through these as fast as possible. Okay, number one is, number one, it's go to sequence or clip start. A lot of times you don't have a home button, maybe you're editing on a laptop or you've got one of those smaller keyboards that Apple likes to give now. So you set go to sequence or clip start to number one and anytime you just wanna to go to the very beginning, you just press number one, boom, you're there. Super handy. Number two, L. J, K, and L are reverse, stop, and play. So if you press L, it plays the timeline. If you press L again, it plays it in double time. When you're looking through clips and there's somebody talking, if you press L once, you can follow along with what they're saying, you can actually find the right clip. Uh, if you press it too many times, it's just a brrr, you can't understand anything. So what's really useful is when you're trying to find uh, somebody saying a certain thing. You can scroll through it fast using L. Number three, instead of dragging your clip down onto the timeline, the fastest way to get it on the timeline, period, is period. Yes, that was a pun. I apologize for that. Now, if you've got a bunch of clips already down on the timeline and you wanna move something right in between one of those clips, comma, boom, press comma, slides it right in there. No more highlighting everything and moving it down and then dragging it and then dragging it over. No, you've got better things to do with your life. You're pressing comma and you're done. Man, you've got a lot of stuff on your timeline now. You're clicking and clacking, period, comma, everything's going down on the timeline really fast, it's getting big, and now you can't see the whole timeline. You wanna see the whole timeline? Backslash. Shows you the entire timeline right away, one click. Now, you can see the whole timeline, and you see that spot that you wanna make that edit in. You put the cursor on it, you wanna zoom in on that spot, don't drag that thing down at the bottom. Nah, plus or minus. Number six, plus or minus. Let's make an edit, right? This is editing. Let's add an edit. Now, you're not gonna click on the blade tool and mouse around to that perfect spot. No, nah. you're gonna stop on that place that you wanna make that edit and you're gonna press add edit. I've made my hotkey D. You can make it whatever hotkey you want. I press D, boom, edit is added. This alone, built up over a lifetime, I mean, you're gonna get days back. So you've got a bunch of clips down on the timeline. You wanna take one of them and shorten it and you want everything else on the timeline to adjust the ripple edit tool. I've made my hotkey B. Now, if you've got a lot of clips on the timeline, it doesn't always work perfectly because it's got to adjust for the other tracks. So sometimes you'll have to highlight a lot of tracks and have them all move over at once, or you can also lock a layer so that it doesn't prevent you from using uh, the ripple edit tool. These next two are amazing, Q and W. These are the hotkeys that Premiere Pro has pre-selected for Ripple Trim Previous and Ripple Trim Next. Say you've got a clip, you just wanna trim some off the front. You've stopped your cursor right on the spot you wanna trim, press Q, boom. Trims everything previous right up until that last edit. Same thing for W, trims everything that comes after that right up until the next edit. These keys will become your go-to keys for tightening up that edit. If you wanna move something from the end of the timeline to more toward the beginning of the timeline, and you wanna do it fast and efficiently, just hold Command while you drag it there and everything to the right of where you place it will get moved over. No more highlighting everything to make room, just simply drag and drop. Now let's say you've got a bunch of tracks, you got a bunch of video layers, and you just wanna change the order of one of the tracks. There's an option for that too, and it's actually Option Command and Drag. That way, it doesn't mess up the order of all the rest of your tracks, and you can simply drag and drop and change the order of one track at a time. If you guys aren't using the Up and Down key to jump from Edit to Edit, you should learn about it. It's dope. We've talked a lot about not highlighting 
parts of the timeline just to move it over and create space. This is another one along those lines. Just hit A. A brings up what's called track select forward. Basically what it does is it just highlights everything to the right. And so you can just click once and rest assured, everything to the right of that will get highlighted and you can drag that over. Shift A is the opposite way. So just press Shift A and everything to the left of the cursor will get highlighted and you can move that around. Almost every single one of these hotkeys is a single key. Why give ourselves a command this and a command that? Just one single key. Let's just touch the key and be done with it. Faster, therefore better. Another one that I really love is enable. I use it so much I've made it a hotkey. It's E for enable. What's cool about it too is if you highlight two clips and one of them's disabled and the other one's enabled, and you press E, it'll just switch them. So you don't have to click on each one and scroll down to press enable. Who's got time to do that? We got a life to live. Rendering, we do it all the time. And if you're still clicking on sequence and scrolling down to render in and out, you're getting old fast every time you do it. Just make your hotkey R, hit that R, done. Stay young. Why, why, why? Would you do this when you could just press Y and do this? The slip tool is awesome because it just shows you what your in and your out is gonna be and you can make a quick adjustment without moving the clip around. It stays right where it's supposed to. You make that quick adjustment, move on, go pop a beer. Now let's say you wanna change the in and out of two clips that are right next to each other at the same time. That's the rolling edit tool. I've got mine set to N. It saves you from doing this. So you can do this. Same exact thing, half the time. So you've got a bunch of clips on the timeline. You wanna make a basic transition between those two. Uh, you've got a default transition that you wanna slide in there. Well, instead of having to cl right click on each one of those transitions and scroll down to default transition, just highlight them all, shift T. T. Boom. All your default transitions slotted right in. And you've got time to, who cares? Last but certainly not least, this video is all about speed, so we should definitely have a hotkey for speed, which is for me, S. S for speed, easy to remember. I can't tell you how many times I see people right clicking on a clip, going to speed, guessing 75% or 50% when it, the percentage really doesn't matter. You know how long it needs to be. You press S, click on the end of that clip, drag it to fit in your timeline, boom. Those are my 20 favorite shortcuts. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if it is, please leave a comment. If it isn't, please leave a comment. Uh, and let me know. Uh, if you liked it and you'd like to see more like this, subscribe. It's important to note any of these shortcuts can be uh, assigned to any key that you want them to be assigned to. These are just the ones that I've chosen. Some of them come standard on Premiere and some of them I've assigned myself. But definitely use shortcuts. It's gonna make your life a lot easier and you'll be able to live more of it uh, not in front of the computer, which uh, I think we all want. I mean, editing's fun, but you know, there's like, there's like a whole world out there.